Hello, I am Dr. Mark Daly, and I want to thank you for taking a moment to watch the video. I want to share a little bit with you today about reducing the symptoms of fibromyalgia. And let me say that this information is in no way meant to take the place of your medical doctor's advice, but let me cover some basics. These are things you no doubt understand already, but patients with fibromyalgia may experience a number of different symptoms, including fatigue, decreased energy, sleep disturbance, cognitive dysfunction, also known as fibro fog, but the most debilitating symptom from what I understand from my patients is chronic muscle pain, spasms, and tightness. Fibromyalgia can cause pain anywhere in the body, but the most common sites include the neck, shoulders, back, hips, arms, and legs. Optimal treatment for fibromyalgia requires a multi-system approach that can include addressing underlying viral infections hormone imbalances, and nutritional deficiencies. Now, two new studies show that supplementing with CoQ enzyme 10 can help reduce fibromyalgia pain. Let me be clear, supplements alone in most cases will not cure fibromyalgia, so please don't misunderstand me. Remember, fibromyalgia, as mentioned a moment ago, is a multi-system breakdown and must be addressed in a specific order to restore health and wellness. Although I do have a clinic pharmacy, I am not a supplement salesman. In most cases, these supplements don't solve the core issues of fibromyalgia. They simply address the symptoms of these core issues. So <clears throat> having, that, having said that, CoQ10 can in many cases reduce fibromyalgia pain and fatigue and even morning stiffness. The first study conducted by researchers and reported in the Journal of Antioxidants and Redux Sin uh, Signaling sought to measure the effects of CoQ10 supplementation on adult patients with fibromyalgia. The researchers noted that both mitochondrial dysfunction and CoQ10 deficiencies have been implicated in fibromyalgia pathophysiology. In the study, patients were given 300 milligrams of CoQ10 daily for 40 days. They saw reduction in pain, fatigue, morning stiffness, and tender points. Other positive findings included recovery of inflammation, improved uh, anti antioxidant uh, enzymes, and increase in the ability of mito mitochondria to regenerate. Now get this, mitochondria are responsible for cellular energy production. And let me, let me assure you that this plays a big role in fibromyalgia. The AMPK gene express uh, levels of recovery in the patient given CoQ10. Notably, one of the AMPK enzyme functions is to instruct mitochondria to switch from using energy to producing energy. This has a significant impact on you, the fibromyalgia patient. The researchers have previously studied the link between mitochondria dysfunction and oxidative stress and inflammation in fibromyalgia patients. Based on the study results, they concluded that CoQ10 could be part of an effective therapy for fibromyalgia. So just the basics, what is CoQ10? Well, it is a substance made by the body and found in every cell in your body. Cells use CoQ10 to produce the energy your body needs for cell growth and maintenance. CoQ10 also functions as an antioxidant which protects the body from the damage caused by harmful molecules. It is naturally present in small amounts in a wide variety of foods and in larger concentrations in food like meat and fish, as well as oils from soybeans, sesame, and canola. CoQ10 comes in two forms. This is interesting. It's uh, ubiquinol, which is the active antioxidant form, and ubiquinone, the, an, uh, the oxidized form, which the body partially converts to ubiquinol. Many multi-ingredient supplements contain both forms. However, the ubiquinol has greater antioxidant efficiency, so that would be the preferred um, type. CoQ10, or coenzyme Q10, is a powerful antioxidant that is in every, or almost every, tissue of your body. A fair amount of research suggests that people with fibromyalgia and even chronic fatigue syndrome have low levels of CoQ10. The role of coenzymes is to help convert molecules from food into energy, 
or ATP, which studies also show sometimes are deficient in the fibromyalgia patient. So low Q, uh, CoQ10 levels have also been linked to several neurodegenerative disorders like diabetes, cancer, and cardiovascular disease. So when we consider CoQ10 in your diet, it's fairly simple to increase the amount. Um, it's found in beef, chicken, eggs, oily fish like sardines, mackerel, herring, and trout, organ meats like liver, kidney, and heart, soybeans and canola oil, peanuts, pistachio nuts, um, sesame seeds, broccoli, cauliflower, oranges, and strawberries. Now there are potential side effects for a small amount of the population, which might include nausea or vomiting, heartburn, diarrhea, loss of appetite, skin itching, rash, insomnia, headaches, dizziness, uh, itching, irritability, increased light sensitivity of the eyes, fatigue, and flu-like symptoms. CoQ10 may lower blood sugar levels and blood pressure, so it may not be a good choice for you if you have diabetes, hypoglycemia, or low blood pressure. Always be sure, as I, I've mentioned previously, to consult your doctor before starting any new supplement. Your pharmacist can tell you if a supplement is likely to interact negatively with any of your other supplements or medications. But CoQ10 has become a common supplement for fibromyalgia and has received a good amount of attention from research. CoQ10 dosages got to touch on that. Typically um, between 30 and 90 milligrams each day can be taken in smaller doses, say two or three times a day. Some doctors recommend as much as 200 milligrams. So there is no specific recommendation for fibromyalgia. CoQ10 is fat soluble, which means you'll absorb it better if you take it when you're eating a meal containing oil or fat. Now, when I say oil and fat, you know I'm talking about good oils and good fats. CoQ10 works slowly, so you may not see any therapeutic benefits for up to eight weeks. Remember, all supplements are not created equal. To be sure, you must take pharmaceutical grade CoQ10, which means 99.5% pure. Otherwise, really and truly you're wasting your money and perhaps doing yourself a disservice. I have posted several brands, different brands of CoQ10 and some of them, some of them that I would recommend. Before starting any supplement, again, consult your doctor. Remember this, fibromyalgia is a complex condition that doesn't travel alone. The information I've provided on supplements is designed to make life more tolerable as you discover the root cause of fibromyalgia for you individually. If this information has been helpful, I have some other free resources available at fibromyalgia.doc.com. And we've recently opened up our, as I mentioned earlier, clinic pharmacy to the public. You can go there and shop by topic. For instance, fibromyalgia, you can shop by brand or product like 5-HTP, for instance. All of the products are pharmaceutical grade, they're top quality. As always, I thank you so much for your time and attention. I pray that this information has been useful. Thanks and have a great day.